Close your eyes. Make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. And then follow through with that. The Buddha calls this the self rightly directed. When you decide there's something good you want to accomplish in life, and then you set yourself in that direction, and then you keep it in that direction. For right now, we're trying to develop some concentration, because the mind needs concentration. It needs to be able to settle in, stay focused. Any job you want to do in the world, you need to have a continual focus. Even more so when you're practicing the Dharma, if you want to know your own mind, have some control over your own mind. You want to maintain your focus and not get easily distracted, because the mind has lots of ways of distracting itself. Remember, it's like a comedian there. And some of the members are traitors to the committee. In other words, they don't have your best interest in mind. They think they do. They tell you this, they tell you that, but they haven't thought it out thoroughly. They just have their opinions. And, so, and if you don't go along with them, then they start playing tricks on you. So you have to be able to keep up your intention in spite of their tricks. So anything that comes along right now that says, think about this, think about that, that, you say, no, I've got to think about the breath right now. I've got to be with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Because it's in those moments that you normally would move off that you actually begin to see how the mind works, the parts of the mind that fool the other parts. And now you're training them, the good parts, so they don't get fooled. So try to make your awareness here as continual as possible. Remember that original intention that you want to get the mind settled in. You want the mind to be still. You want the mind to be focused, to maintain its focus. And just carry that through. You're already pointed in the right direction. Just don't get deflected off to one side or the other. When you have a good intention, stay true to it. And that's how you find something truly good in life.